This is Taiwan's newest inner city train, and it has something that hasn't been seen on Taiwan railways in over 20 years. That's right, it has business class. So today, we are going to be checking out the brand new business class on the EMU 3000 from Taoyuan to Taizong to see if it's really worth the hype. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. So, hello everyone, and welcome to Taoyuan Huotezan, or Taoyuan Main Station. Now, the station originally opened back in November of 1893, and that station was rebuilt twice, once in 1905 and another time in 1962. The current station was built in 2015 and saw a yearly ridership of around 20 million people. Now, these numbers were pre-COVID, of course. After passing through the fare gate, we can see that this station is quite small, with only a small waiting area and a couple of shops lying around. As business class didn't get you access into any lounges or such, I headed straight for the platform and noticed that there was a small sign hanging from above that designated that this was where the business class car was going to stop. Small touches like this are always well appreciated, and I think other companies should take this into note when launching a new business class product. Now, unfortunately, our train did succumb to a small delay of about a couple of minutes, but that didn't really matter to me as I wasn't really in a rush. So here is my ride to Taichung. This train is the EMU 3000, the newest inner city train in TRA's inner city fleet. These trains were built in 2021 and started revenue service in December of that year and have been running under the Zichang Limited Express brand ever since. Now, like I said in the intro of the video, this train is quite a first for Taiwan, as they are the first ever train to feature business class in over 20 years or so. So here is a quick look of our route down to Taichung. Our route today will see us stopping at Zhongli, Xinzhu, Yaoli, and Fengyuan before stopping in Taichung, and will take around one and a half hours. On this route down to Taichung, we will be frequently hitting our top speed of around 130 kilometers per hour. So I think it's quite time we took a look around our seat. Now first things first, the legroom in business class is pretty much unbeatable. In the seat back pocket in front of you, you can find a small menu as well as a small magazine. So here is the fold down table. While yes, it was quite thin, it was surprisingly sturdy, with there even being a cup holder indent built into the table, which was really nice. Moving on upwards, here is a coat hook, as well as a window blind, which both work flawlessly. Although, I was traveling at night, so I wouldn't be using the window blind anytime soon. And lastly, here is a reading light. Thank you. 
the controls for the seat's recline could be found on the armrest beside you, and, in my opinion, it was pretty good. But, most importantly, are these seats comfortable? Well, in my opinion, they're not the comfiest in the world. They still provide a great amount of ergonomic support and even feature a lightly shaped headrest. The jet black color also gives this seat a very premium feel. Overall, a very solid business class seat. Time to check out this train. This is standard class, which is laid out in a 2 plus 2 configuration. So here is a quick look at a standard class seat. The legroom is slightly reduced as well as the privacy due to the seats being laid out in a 2 plus 2 configuration. Aside from that though, the seats amenities are pretty much the same as in business class. The seats were also quite comfy as well, so if I were going to take the EMU 3000 once again, I would gladly pick standard class if I was on a tighter budget. Running water. There we go. 
up. And uh, there's uh, there's some toilet paper, trash can, the emergency intercom, the diaper changing cable. I have to say, this bathroom is pretty clean. Aside from some stains on the floor, this bathroom is in tip top condition. And that makes sense because this train is new. So yeah, that uh, that has to do it for the bathroom slash loo review. Back to the video. So when I came back from the bathroom, the quote unquote meal service arrived. Now to clear up some confusion. The meal service on board business class is supposed to include a classic TRA bento, but when booking a ticket for business class, TRA isn't exactly clear when you're pre-selecting your meal about the bento, which is really strange. Once I got on board, I was informed that they'd run out of bentos in Hualien, so all I got were my two other orders, a haagen ice cream and a bottle of water. As you'd expect with a brand new train, there was Wi-Fi available on board, free of charge. So as we close in on Taichung, what did I think of TRA's new business class? Was it worth the hype or simply overrated? Well, besides the catering, everything else was just awesome. The seats were private, comfortable, and featured heaps of legroom. The train being new was in tip-top shape and really clean. As said before, the catering is the only thing that was lacking. I just think TRA needs to work on their website so that they'd allow you to select the TRA Bento option when pre-selecting your meal, instead of just not mentioning it at all. But all in all, how much did this trip cost? Well, this trip costed 611 Taiwan dollars, which is around 20 US dollars. This value for money is virtually unheard of in the Western world. So, needless to say, a great hard product coupled with a very cheap price, I would totally recommend TRA's brand new business class. 
but that's just my opinion. What do you think? Please let me know in the comments below.